57, a taste of adventure is making its way to Buffalo this week. Neil Moore has been dubbed a modern day Huckleberry Finn, exploring waters all across the country. His latest expedition is 7,500 miles long, but he isn't going by road. In fact, his path is across America's waterways from the coast of Oregon, that red dot at the left of your screen, all the way to New York City, the other red dot crossing 22 states along the way. It all started in February 2020 with the goal of exploring and celebrating America. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Epps caught up with him during his stop here in Buffalo before he continues paddling down the Erie Canal. One year of planning, a few paddles, and one canoe. 16 foot canoe and uh, all my worldly belongings are right inside. I I'm looking to explore how the waterways connect from uh, coast to coast, from the Pacific to the Atlantic. He's lived in Africa and East Asia, but decided his next adventure was here at home. And in 2019, started planning a cross-country trip through America's waterways. I started out by, by unfurling the map of America across the table and also unfurling the map uh, in my mind. When the pandemic hit in 2020, he was already on his way to travel through 22 states. And as, it, as it turned out, the best place to be what was out of doors, was on the river, uh, on my own. Wherever he is in the country, he wakes up at first light and gets right on the water. It's a moment of release and it's a moment of pure freedom. When night falls, he'll have a quick meal. I have a freeze dry food. And set up camp for the night. He's now 19 months into this routine. Here at Buffalo, what I'll be doing is connecting to the Erie Canal. So I'll slowly make my way across New York State uh, to Albany to meet the Hudson to New York City. Moore's stop here at the Erie Basin Marina marks 7,000 miles on this journey. But before he was able to stop here, Mother Nature made it quite interesting. There's some good sized rollers right here that are just uh, forming, breaking into the shore with the cliffs here. When he got to Lake Erie, he asked some locals in Westfield for advice. I was asking, what do you think to take a to take an open canoe onto the lake to make my way to Buffalo? Uh, what he said was, uh, get ready to swim. If she falls oh. backwards, I come and I also get, I fall, I get trapped, but I'm blocking. He'll finish with a few scrapes here and there, but Moore says it's all part of the journey. Nature is one part of it, but really it's the people. He says the real goal of this trip was to learn about this country through the people, collecting names along the way. New friends, they sign the canoe, they, they, they leave little sort of positive messages for good luck for the journey. In this country, we can all listen to, we can all learn. The people around us can, can, be, uh, can be our friends as opposed to our adversaries.